All right, Greg, I watched this thing live as it came in, and to me, I don't think he was being sarcastic. It looked like he was just spitballing ideas to knock this thing out. What do you think? Well, here, there's a couple of ways to look at this. There are two, two things that don't matter and one thing that does. Was it, take, was it off the cuff? Maybe. Doesn't matter. Was it sarcasm? Maybe, maybe not. Doesn't matter. What matters is that anyone actually believes that he was saying you should inject yeah. Clorox into people. I mean, 1,000 1, days with Trump plus as president, and we still have an entire industry <laughs> mobilized by an offhand comment. How can any adult believe, seriously yeah. believe, that he was saying, hey, people should inject Clorox, Clorox into their body. I mean, I get wanting to believe that because you have a pre-existing condition to believe the worst about everything that comes out of Trump's mouth or to believe the worst about anybody. Really, I would challenge the media one day to look at somebody they don't like and try to assume the best of their comments. But it's, it's, I can't believe that they're actually interviewing experts. So uh, just tell us, you can't put Clorox injected into your body, can you? I mean, people, it's, it, this is actually a news cycle. As other stuff is going on, this is hilarious. Yeah, I think Lysol released a statement <laughs> over social media. Juan... <laughs> Can you try to be fair here? You, you cannot believe the president was telling Americans to put bleach down your, their throats. I hope not. But I mean, that's what I heard. But I hope not. It okay. makes no sense, Jesse. I think, oh, Jesse, I think when, when you said spitballing, I, I think you're right. I think he was riffing. Uh, today, yeah. I thought he tried to get off the hook saying that he was being sarcastic. The press secretary said he was taken out of context. Well, you can't do both. You know, so you got to pick one. And the thing is, for me to see him it, at the White House, in the briefing room, saying something like that, and believe me, there was no gotcha question. There was no question at all. He was just, as you say, riffing, spitball. He just start, came out with this stuff. And I think it's, uh, to some extent, you know, for people who are listening to him, I think it's upsetting and dangerous. I just, I can't, I just, you know, Greg says it's the media, but I just think the president uh, needs to be presidential and saying something like that. I think it invites disaster.